Hi everyone, here's Simone. I hope this will be the right uh, tutorial at the end because it's like five times that I tried to record it. So <laughs> let's go. Uh, I want to show you a component I made. Uh, I made it uh, for me and you. So I'm sharing it. Uh, yeah, okay. It's uh, a component that make preset and uh, work with states. Okay, let's now clean it up. Okay, and as you can see, it's also a chop input. Okay, uh, this is a visual I made. Uh, the tutorial I follow in order to make the visual will be in the video description and uh, as well as the link in order to download this component. Uh, this component it's, uh, will be posted for my Patreon if you want. Okay, so we drag this here and the UI appear and it's telling us do you want to also export chop to this guy? Yes, please. So we are creating this. We're gonna see it in a second. So uh, now we actually link this to this and we have the chop manager here, kind of. Uh, let's now be creative. So we can make this red and make the zoom to five. I'm gonna save it, then I'm gonna go back to the actual value. Okay. So, as you can see now, we're blending between state. Okay. Super fast. Uh, you, so like this, it's done. You link this with the preset manager and you can just do what you want. Uh, if you're here, like, uh, it blended to the actual value. So it takes in consideration where you are or where is the preset. Okay. So I find it really useful. Okay, okay, okay. This that then you can jump here now. And you can even have like more blending time. So to the right you have more blending time, to the left you have less blending time. Okay. Nice. And uh, how it's made? Uh, I don't wanna explain it, but this is an actual. Uh, you have a drop, you have some stuff and it's based on the TD function and uh, the Python storage. Basically, let's actually speak about the chop manager. So this is a string that it's like a string menu value matrix. I call it like this. So um, it's actually taking the name of this, okay, and actually the value itself, and it's actually doing what? Uh, taking also the name of the parameter of the linked uh, component and you can do export chop like this okay so now drum is 35 but if you put drum to 5 or to 3 to 1 like something really small <laughs> okay then we are sending those values and the, um, while we are blending actually as you can see uh, we can uh, move those data. So if you are in a live environment, okay, those can be your organized uh, audio trigger that actually move in real time. So you have real time things uh, going into your uh, values and uh, uh, you can just jump here around with the presets. And have fun, everything is automatic. Okay, you have your trigger, and here you can jump, just jump to state on time and have fun. Okay, so uh, yeah, uh, you can have uh, multiple name also, of course, multiple channel. And then you can then assign and make the export. To delete an export, you have to do this, so delete just the name. The whole thing here is a kind of complex, so you can say now it's kind of complex uh, to explain actually not the, the structure it's easy uh, 
and took me a while in order to make it uh, kind of easy. So here you have the Python storage and the name uh, of the preset are incremental. So here you have the script to store the things and I'm using TD function. Here is uh, I'm getting the things by fetching the storage and I'm dividing uh, uh, if there's a Python string or not. Um, here is the actual function from the TD function embedded in touch designer, the LM module. Uh, to actually apply directly all the info uh, this is to delete the Python storage and this is actually to get the string if there's one in the parameter and assign it uh, with a table and everything will be written and pass it in the system that is taking care of the value and this is done in job uh, here we have the blending things so we have a trigger when to blend here we are getting the value and actually getting a blind now it's uh, they are both linked to the when I click the list as you can see as you show and this is the chop matrix I'm going super fast because I don't want to explain what he's doing just telling you what is it uh, so if this is like having problem crashing blah blah, blah you can do this you can, then you can make menu run it and do it again if you want to add channel you run this or you press the button okay uh, Structured extension, uh, this extension is copying a menu and uh, with some dot uh, here and there, I'm creating uh, the export for the job. Uh, yeah, so how I'm sending the value is so uh, sometimes they move also in there in constant mode and it's, doing, it's done here. So I have all the data of the preset that are coming through here and uh, they are uh, uh, when something move I'm checking if the name of what is moving and actually only if something um, so if a value move and this value has the same name of the parameter then match it and when I mean match it I mean this I'm creating a dependency object so even if the data are coming from the storage or the operator that need cook and we are okay uh yeah i guess it's fine for now uh for my patron it will be an advanced version and uh, i mean advanced is another version and uh, as other feature a uh, like being uh, and becoming your ipar if you need uh, or uh, become your local variables and it's embedded with the preset so instead to have something ready you can use it while you are working i guess it's better uh, yeah, but this is free for you and the link will be in the video description uh, With these like sparkle things uh, I will say hello to you. Thank you for your time and uh, Please leave a comment if you find bug or this is not working feel free to contact me I will be happy to improve it if I can uh, Ciao